He is so poor that he has to go to the mountains every day to find clay to make a living. But, surprisingly, he drives a supercar worth over 20 million and takes girls for a ride. However, his Bugatti supercar was not bought. It was handcrafted by him using the clay he collected. Not only did he use clay to create the Bugatti's exterior, but he also used scrap iron from a factory to build the car's body. Now, he is about to conduct a road test for the Bugatti's body. Do you think he can achieve 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3 seconds? Please feel free to discuss in the comments. After the road test revealed that the car could drive normally, they used chicken coops from the village to start welding the Bugatti's grill. After installing the modified chicken coop grill, they sprayed it with black paint. Next, they began to polish the car's front end and installed a homemade rear spoiler. They also welded an eye-catching exhaust system. The young man said that if he found any part that wasn't handcrafted, he would eat the Bugatti he had made. Because the car doors themselves were made of fiberglass, they needed to weld a frame inside with steel pipes for stability. Safety was a top priority. Then they focused on refining the details of the car's body. Next, they started making the dashboard and center console for the interior. As for the interior, they used the same method, shaping it with clay from the nearby mountains and applying epoxy resin and fiberglass. After their work, the car's central control was almost complete. At this point, they added some steel frames to the car doors and attached some cardboard. Afterward, they applied another layer of epoxy resin and fiberglass. It's worth noting that these young men placed a strong emphasis on the safety of the vehicle. Next, they began testing the opening and closing of the car doors. Then, they continued to use clay to shape the car and applied fiberglass to make the car seats. Next, they handcrafted a height-adjustable rear spoiler. Once the rear spoiler had been successfully tested, the Chinese-made headlights arrived. They installed the headlights and tested them after connecting all the wiring. After confirming that the headlights worked properly, they began making the steering wheel. Similarly, they started with clay, followed by fiberglass and finally polishing the steering wheel before installing it. Afterward, they mixed some paint and poured it into molds they had prepared for the taillights. They began polishing the details of the taillights. Next, they began to polish the entire car body. After thorough work by these young men, the Bugatti's construction was already more than halfway done. At this point, they wrapped up the areas that didn't require paint. Once everything was properly wrapped, they started making a special paint. They began by spraying a layer of silver gray primer. After meticulous work by the young men, the primer was applied. Next, they darkened the grill and some parts of the car's body. Once the darkening process was completed, they mixed a blue paint. Finally, the entire car body was painted in a black and blue two-tone scheme. With that, the purely handcrafted Bugatti was officially completed. Have you learned something? Please do not attempt to replicate this. Finally, let's listen to the sound of its engine.